There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And this is ARG or AH. Well, I'm not going to scream AH every time, you know, I mention the game. So it says click your mouse. And it's by David B. Howarth. Okay. Oh, we have a choice of puzzles. We've got Arg, Barg, Karg, Darg, Erg, Farg, and Garg. Well, let, let's stick with the basic variation. Okay. Begin. Oh, right. So the mouse is now limited to the bottom of the screen. We've got instructions. We've got begin. So let's hit instructions. The goal is to simply is simply to move block A from its starting position. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this to this position. Yep, it's a sliding tile puzzle game. So yeah, you can you can move things across, and you use the mouse to drag. That's that's not bad. I mean. Most of them around this time would have just had, you know, arrow keys or the ability to hit the letter on the keyboard and say, hey, where do you want to move it? And there's a little thing down here called a boss screen. Those of you who don't know what a boss screen is, back in the day when you were playing games at work when you shouldn't have been, there was what's called a boss screen that you could quickly hit. And, oh, look, suddenly... It looks like an important spreadsheet. We're doing lots of important work. And then you can just click to restore. Speaking of restore, it has a restore position, save position function. So if you're in the middle of a game of ARG or ARG or AH and say a cat wants fed. There's a very sleepy cat on my bed. I'm not sure whether she's going to wake up and cause problems or not. Then you can save your position. So that's nice. Unfortunately, the game itself is one that I absolutely despise. I have very little spatial awareness and yeah, I just find this tedious and frustrating, you know, trying to get these blocks into the appropriate place. But that's okay. It's definitely not for me. But if you want an ASCII-based puzzler, where you can shift blocks quite easily with the mouse and quite intuitively. And yeah, I mean, it's graphically, it's not going to, you know, age because it's just ASCII. It's, it is what it is. Does the job. And look, we've moved A slightly to the right. And it only took me 24 moves. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at hundreds of other videos on my channel. If you like what you see there as opposed to here, you could consider subscribing. And if you know how to keep a cat quiet when you're trying to record, you might be one of those people who's an expert at calming cats down. A secret cabal of amazing people who choose to reimburse me financially for more videos or just because they plain like me. Lovely people. So yeah, I didn't play much of this, but there's a very good reason for that. I'm not the person to showcase ARG, but it looks competently programmed and I like that there's multiple puzzles. So, well put together, just not my thing. Until next time.